Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Digital Learning Coach at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. This screencast is about the quiz mode in Google Forms and a very important difference between GAF accounts and personal accounts when it comes to quiz mode. So this here is a quiz I did in my personal account and I set it to quiz mode. And if you notice, you can put images in there. And then if, as I go into the question, it is set to one point. It has an answer key where John Locke is the correct answer and the others are incorrect. And then as you can see, the feedback, oh, I don't wanna make Necker, anyway. The feedback is there too. So a correct answer, it just says, it reinforces the concept, incorrect answer. I have a little link to a video where I speak about it. So that's that. That's quiz mode. I'll show you how to set that up in a minute, but I want to show you the responses as well. So if you click on responses, I'm not even in the spreadsheet right now. I have it configured so that students get it right after they complete the quiz by clicking on view their accuracy. So if we look here, here's my points distribution. This was a four point quiz. So you can tell I probably need to do some reteaching here. I have the names, but more importantly at the bottom, I have the results question by question. Here I have a 30% correct rate. Here I have a 50%, as you can see here at 20%, it's telling me what the people were guessing for the wrong answers as well. So it's really nicely done. I gave 10 random teachers a quiz about the French Revolution. They're middle school teachers, not all of them were history. So you can see how that would happen. So I then decided to send them a second quiz. And in that quiz, I set it to hold the results. So if we go into settings and you go into quiz, I set don't release. And my assumption was that the students would take it and then afterward I could go in here and email them the results. Remember, this is my personal GAF account. That is not the case. So let's go into my school GAF account real quick. And so I have here a one question quiz. And what I like about this, by the way, is that you can now insert images in both the question, which I did here. And if you notice, I could play with that there by that icon and in the answers. So I'm going to add one answer. And that answer will be Napoleon. And let's get an image of Napoleon. This is a really, really nice feature in Google Forms. So let's just search for one. And now I'll paste. What I would like is for, the, for whatever the answer is to auto-populate right there. I think they'll do that long-term, but that'd be really cool. It'd be really awesome if Napoleon was just there. All right, and so we get Napoleon. I click them and now he is there. And if I go to my preview of this quiz, so I got, I asked for your first name, your last name. I'll talk about email in a minute. I got a, an image for the question and then I have images for the choices. How cool is that? Now I wanna make this a quiz. This could be a one question door knocker, do now, whatever, exit ticket, okay. So again, I go to the gear for my settings. I click over to, and let's collect email addresses. That way I don't have to ask for that. I click over to quizzes, make it a quiz. And now I can set all these here, point values. Now, immediately after each submission, I really like, especially if it's not a, a summative assessment, go ahead and give it to them immediately. Here is where you get that whole flubberoo, email them the grades later. And I could do that. I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm going to do immediately after each submission, but the bottom line is if you want to do a any kind of quiz, whether it's for a workshop or a presentation or for your kids where you want to email them the results in quiz mode in Google Forms, you definitely want to do it from your school GAF account, not your personal account. All right, so I'll click immediately after each submission. Now we don't need to set these questions as being worth anything because they're just the name. So if I go into the actual question, and then at the bottom, I click answer key. And the cool thing is each question you can set to different values. So if you really want to rank things, let's make, so this was radical. So it's going to be Robespierre is the correct answer. And let's add answer feedback. So in, you get incorrect and correct. I'll do correct real quick. So that was correct. Rob.
Okay, now let's go to incorrect answers. And here I just found a nice resource. Someone made this nice document about the French Revolution and the political spectrum, which is what the question asks about. And so now I can enter, or I will go with the link right here. Hit add. You could put YouTube videos, you could put all kinds of resources, you could link to things in your Google Drive that might help them, might cue them to the right answer. And now I do that. And now I have my correct answer, I have my incorrect answer, and I have it all ready to go. And that's what it is. The feed, then the students get the feedback based on each question. If they get it right, they, see, they get the correct answer feedback. If they get it wrong, they get the incorrect answer feedback. And I like to, and they do that by clicking view score. In fact, I could do that right now. So there's my quiz. And now let's answer this incorrectly. King Louis, I'll hit submit. And it says view your score. And so now I see that I got this wrong. And in fact, I see my score up here, zero out of one. And it tells me that the answer was incorrect. Please look below. I'd also set it to let them take, take the quiz as many times as they need to get it correct as well. So anyway, that's quiz mode in Google Forms and the difference between the, your personal account and your GAF account. Hit me up on Twitter at EdTechTom if you want to discuss further. Thank you so much for watching.